Hi, I'm moody. I'm feeling moody and it's time for a moon message. Today's moon is the waning gibbous moon under the astrological sign of Aquarius, still under that Aquarian energy. This reading is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node, Capricorn, Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, what is the full moon and Lionsgate portal message for Capricorn? Hi Capricorn, thank you for stopping by the channel. If you hear something you can resonate with, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and leave me a comment. Whew. The full moon is all about releasing things that don't serve you. And the Lionsgate portal is about focusing on what you want. A new cycle. Yes. And then the new moon comes, which is definitely about a fresh start, a new beginning. And then the full moon again. This is a very rare month Capricorn uh, a lot of energy a lot is happening this month you feel it and spirit has a message what's the message spirit for Capricorn holy spirit angel guide spirit guides what is it a lot's going on this month and probably with you leave me a comment we don't even need any cards let's just check all right tell me what's going on Holy Spirit, Angel Guides, Spirit Guides, Capricorn, the month of August, Ooh. Father of Swords, very intellectual, very alert, sees things clearly, is a little guarded right now, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy, um, well, somebody may want to apologize. Could be children involved. Um, maybe uh, somebody's not showing. Somebody's aware of maybe a child. Because the mother is here. The moon. I don't know. Because the moon is feminine energy. Also Pisces. Hmm. Cat, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Son of Cups, but Father of Swords could want to apologize to a Pisces. Capricorn, I'm, why am I saying all of this? I don't know. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Okay. Could be somebody didn't know something about a child. I don't know. Bottom card. Oh. Damn. Okay. Bottom card, bottom card, bottom card. Wow. Maybe somebody didn't know something about money. They're just finding out. Uh. They receive some communication regarding a financial situation, some information financially could be to regarding a job, a house, a home. Somebody found out something, heard something is clear regarding uh, where they're headed. Okay. Things may have been hidden in the past with the moon, but with the eight of wands at the center of your reading, um, you have received some divine guidance or somehow you've been given some information with the eight of wands. Communication has come that there was deception with the seven of swords. A lot of Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy deceptive energy that maybe there was a third party somebody else in the mix somehow heartbreak father of cups two men here two male energy father of swords father of cups some deception somebody didn't know I don't know 
masculine energy. Tell me. Capricorn. Commitment. There's some kind of commitment. I don't, okay. Tell me more, spirit. For Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to release and focus on under the portal? What's going on with the full moon and the portal? August in general. Oh my God, something is a shock. Something's going on. <gasps> Look at you fall. Oh, come on. Tell me what's going on. Leave me a comment. The tower? One, two, three... Four major arcanas right here. Something's, uh, you found out something, you're shocked by it almost. This was something that was unnerving. What? Ooh, there could have been somebody that was in love with somebody else. They were actually in a commitment with somebody else. And now everybody's like finding out. It's a shock. Totally unexpected. Wow, there's some toxicity here. Things are blowing up. They blew up. Yeah. Mm. King of Swords again, Capricorn. What did you find out about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius? Something has become crystal clear. Even though it's shocking, there's something toxic here. Mmm. could be about a, a child, a mother, somebody's trying to apologize. And so, I don't know, another male comes into it. Maybe that's the father. <laughs> yes, because there's this triangle here with the three of swords. Somebody's hurt because they find out something that's very shocking. Shit, what is this? This is all coming too, yes. Somebody's in love with another. Oh, my God. Somebody else is the father. Keep going. Yeah, don't know what to do. Mm. Oh, my gosh. Bottom. Bottom. Okay. Yeah, I feel that um, this is a very toxic situation. Somebody's walking away. You know, they or they're already away because after the tower, it's like there's nothing else left to return to. So I, I'm to, OK. Regarding love, somebody found out about a betrayal. The story is very shocking. It could have been two males it could have been a mother and child situation that somebody else is the father. It could be the two males are together and the female energy found out. I don't know. There's a lot going on here, but it does impact the family uh, financial situation. Listen to your intuition intuition going forward regarding deceptive people um it's all around you and that's you have to be aware of this even in the future a lot of swords a lot of air energy thoughts thoughts and you know that's why it's very important that you listen to your intuition because you can't read others thoughts their intentions that's right with this seven of swords people's intentions may not be in your favor looking out for your interests that's why the king of swords be very aware capricorn during this time maybe there is somebody's after your wealth after some money I don't know what's going on. Maybe there's a financial situation as a result of children. Wow. Tell me what's going on, spirit. There is a, a soulmate. Could be a karmic soulmate. 
because uh, toxicity is here. And that's why, you know, they're not meant to stay in your life for a lifetime. That's why the tower is here. Maybe one of you didn't want it or somebody tried to prevent it. But ultimately, things are ending. That's that new moon. Yeah, there's other things that you should be focused on. Mm -hmm. Be careful of who's around you and their intentions. But, yes, look at this. Yeah. Because somebody wants to return possibly but this is you you have a lot that's going on uh, i don't know that you're really caught up in this return your back is turned your masculine energy is here you're making big moves you're bossing up whether you're female or male you know when divine masculine shows up and he's focused towards uh spirit and what's inspiring him yes he's thinking big uh and that is this eight eight portal capricorn this eight eight portal reminds you to think big um to make foundational deep changes don't be afraid of it don't be afraid of it step right in your intuition will guide you uh regarding anything that could hurt you or anybody's intentions that may not be above board this month pay attention though to people around you especially anybody returning that caused this tower i think it's too soon yes and and you know don't be mean. Honestly, talk to them. Honestly, discuss how you feel about the situation. About, I mean, in order to let some things go, you do have to say your piece. Give them an opportunity to say theirs. But that doesn't mean, I don't know. What does it mean, spirit? That you return. No, mm -mm, not when the portal is here. Yeah, you are praying for something else. You're visualizing something else. And mm -hmm. you want something else. You're headed towards someone else. Someone else is really on your mind, in your prayers, in your heart. Yeah, they're part of this dream. There's somebody else. So I believe you're going to talk to whoever's trying to return, whoever... You know, was this toxic? Caused this Three of Swords, the Tower? Uh, maybe there's more to discuss for closure. I don't know. But I do know that during this 8 8 portal, this is where you need to be. And because there's somebody else, there's another soulmate. This could have been a karmic soulmate who's trying to return to block this new one that's coming in. Yeah, Satan shows up. The devil's here. Mm -hmm. And they, and so is your intuition. So is Holy Spirit, right? Yeah. So uh, is there something else that we want to tell? with this tech, Holy Spirit that we want to tell Capricorn for this full moon. Definitely letting go of that toxic stuff, even if they return. You may talk to them, but that's just for closure. I really see you making bold, big moves, calling in somebody else. Focus. You're focused. This is current energy, too, and we're coming into, you're still releasing. I mean, you may, like I said, get together for a quickie or whatever, but really your heart, this is where your heart is, where your dream is, what you want. Um, current energy, as we get into August, I see you focused on something else, praying for something else. Yeah, definitely separating this. I, like I said, closure. And then, yeah, that separation, there's distance there. It just continues. Tell me more about this big dream, soulmate. Tell me more about who's the soulmate for Capricorn. Because after you release this, 
man, the rest of the month is like Kool-Aid in the shade, lemonade. <laughs> it is. It's so wonderful. You know, it's, it's, it's focus. It's freedom. That's that Aquarian energy. Freedom from an Aquarian. Freedom just to feel like it. An Aquarian, um, that's this energy we're under now. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. What? Now, is that not the epitome? Yes. Like I said, for closure. Yes, there may be an honest conversation, but that's over. You're moving on. Freedom's the key to loving me. And you, that's exactly how you feel. <laughs> You know, there's nothing stopping you, and you're going to make your intentions be known. That's what I feel. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know something you also have? If you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not your mind. Yeah, you're getting away from all of these swords. Didn't I say that? A lot of swords were here. Yeah, you're not letting your mind rule you this time. It's all in your heart. Yes, the heart is the gateway to the soul. It's in the cards, baby. It's in the cards. Things are much more clear to you right now. Much more. Tell me about this soulmate spirit. Just a little bit more about the soulmate, can you? Tell me just a little bit more for Capricorn about the soulmate. Oh, this is a divine connection. True love. <laughs> this soulmate, this one you're calling in, you're affirming, you're visualizing that you two will come together. This is going to be a divine connection. True love. Exactly, exactly. Converse, totally different, opposite. Mm. The past. I don't know where you are in this reading, but now you see why you got to let that go. Because what lies ahead? Come on. Do things differently in order to bring health and vitality into your love life. Yeah, and August is the time to do things differently. If you were ever going to do things differently and create new patterns mm -hmm, that will directly affect your love life, because this is about love. We saw that. Hey, now is the time to do it. Leave me a comment. Tell me what's going on with you. Tell me how August works for you. You don't have to do it now. Let August play out. And then get back to me, Capricorn. And until our next... Oh, listen to the readings for your other signs. Like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave me a comment. Share the video if you think it'll help somebody. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. And until the next moon phase, Cap, I'm a stick. Namaste.